Hi guys, Songboy13. It's time for web forecast for the week ahead. And uh, last week, one of my worst forecast predictions. Uh, I said last week, a warm start, then it will go more on tunnel second half of the week. That didn't happen. The data completely changed shortly after I finished the video. And then it was actually going to be warm all week with temperatures pretty much 20 degrees at least every day. And it's been a warm weekend as well. We had 23 yesterday tad fresher today about 20 to 21 but still considerably above average for this stage in september so mainly for today's weather well especially for england and wales and maybe parts of uh, eastern scotland as well a decent day with lots of warm sunshine like i said temperatures low 20s widely 21 to 22 degrees celsius um further west different story though autumn really starts to arrive across the western Isles into scotland northern ireland where we will see some bands of squally kind of rain which will be a bit more organized as we get into the afternoon so a bit of a wet picture death and uh, temperatures will fresher there in the west with highs of around 16 to 18 degrees celsius that wet weather will slowly move eastwards overnight but uh, it doesn't make huge amounts of progress it stays largely dry for central and eastern england a wet night for western england parts of wales and northern ireland and western scotland and temperatures overnight not terribly cold because of cloud 11 to 14 degrees celsius so for this week's weather it's a complete change and there's a lot more certainty this week autumn proper arrives this week right from the word go it will be windy pretty much all throughout the week so the ice bars will be close together so it's not going to be all that calm temperatures at best will be around average if, if you're out of the rain that is so but it will feel considerably different to what we've been used to over the last few weeks uh, so uh, let's go through details day by day. Monday weather, right from the word go, rush hour. For central England, it could be, and Scotland as well, it could be a bit of a washout. Some torrential downpours possible for a short amount of time. It will become underneath with a squall front, so the winds could be very strong as well. 30 to 40 mile per hour wind in gusts, so just bear that in mind. It will move into eastern England around mid-morning. Rest of the country is actually an improvement. Plenty of sunshine, but unfortunately there will be a few more sharp showers throughout the day. There could be the odd thunderstorm mixed in as well. Um, even in the sunshine, it might not feel too bad, but uh, overall it's a cooler, fresher day with temperatures around 13 to 14 in the north to around 17 to 18 in the south. So, which is actually about where we should be seeing for this time of the year at least. Chilly night Monday night, so I wouldn't be too surprised to see uh, some minor frost patches in the north. Uh, so on Tuesday, chilly but quite sunny starts in the morning time but it quickly clouds over and then into the west you've guessed it more rain will be sweeping westwards sorry eastwards throughout the remainder of the day um, so an unsettled picture there but there will be some sunny spells like I said in the morning but cloudy and wet from the west a uh, bit of a wet evening for central and east England once again similar temperatures on Tuesday 13 to 18 degrees Celsius at best which is close to average now that rain sweeps through Tuesday evening across England and then on Wednesday excuse me my voice Wednesday we get a little bit of a ridge of higher pressure it's not going to be completely dry it's not a really strong ridge so for Wednesday I think most of the day will be dry but there may be a few passing showers around especially northern England and parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland and temperatures a bit of uncertainty probably a fresher day 13 to 14 in the north 15 to 16 the best in the south um, so I think Wednesday will be the best day of the week the quietest day with the best of the dry weather because into Thursday more rain comes in across the uh, British Isles so we've got plenty of weather systems spiraling across the country um, so Thursday will be um, time is a little bit uncertain but I think at some point first there will be more rain sweeping across the area some places will have some dry interludes but mostly it'll be cloudy or be wet at times temperatures again not much difference around 14 to probably 17 degrees in the range on Thursday now into Friday, low pressure is very close by, very windy yet still, this is going to be all week. So on Friday, blustery showers, some quite heavy ones as well by the end of the week. So it could be uh, could be quite a bit of rain in a short space of time. But it will be dry spells, there will be some, sunny, uh, some, there'll be some sunshine and temperatures 14 to maybe around 18 on Friday. But uh, So pretty much what we should be seeing for this time of the year. So overall it's a much more messier look with uh, some heavy rain, strong winter times with some limited dry interludes. And it stays that way into the weekend as well not seeing a huge amount of change to what we've been used to it's going to be different more rain and wind at times uh some dry interludes temperatures at best around into the mid-teens and it does look like into next week it might not change that much that low pressure area could be potentially stuck 
in one particular place for some amount of time. So I think into next week, I think expect similar weather at least. Temperatures close to average, so if you're out in any sunny spells, it might not feel too bad, but it will stay breezy or windy, wetter times, um, and... Um, yeah, like I said, autumn will be arriving, so, well, from tomorrow at least. So, if you like the warm, dry weather, make the most of it today. It's not going to last any longer. That is it for this week's weather. Second week in a row, horse coming behind me. So, uh, that's it for this week's weather. Uh, I've also uploaded my Leicester Explore video, uh, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. Oops. So actually be sure to check the video out. And I'll plan to get another video out some point this week, so again, also be sure to keep an eye out. And of that, guys, stay safe, like, comment, subscribe. Storm's now out.